Greetings everyone, I'm Napoleon Complex and today we're going to be fighting the Battle of Cheriton in Hampshire, March 1644. Here's the blurb if you'd like to read a bit more about the battle and let's get started. The enemy forces outnumber us and have seized Cheriton Wood on the ridge in the front or left. If we capture it back, we can take the ridge and hold it against the superior numbers of the enemy, using hedges as a cover for our foot. Now for once in Captain General, we're able to buy a few more units, and I'm going to go heavily into infantry. Now, full disclosure, I have tried this battle before and been beaten by it. In fact, I tried it twice, and I abandoned the second attempt. So, let's try for a third time and see if we can win this battle. So here we are as the Royalists. And what we want to do is get, I think we want to get our infantry up onto the bridge as fast as possible and hold it. This gives us good cover and it gives us the height advantage. <coughs> now, if we advance forward here, unwarily, nothing yet, but there are troops hiding in that forest. What we're going to want to do is with the help of some of our cavalry, I'm going to bring a unit of cavalry up just for that purpose. We're going to advance forward. We're going to bring down those detached musketeers. Now I'll also bring my infantry forward. They can offer some supporting fire as they move forward, but they must not get bogged down in this fight. Because they don't gain anything by we, their goal was to get to here and cover this critical terrain. So we'll also bring our infantry this way, help to cover it, help to cover the approach. Okay, now, this cavalry force is a red herring. This is not the main threat of the battle. The main threat of the battle is this large body of pike and shot which is going to come towards us, and they will enter the battle ahead of the cavalry force. Now, don't forget about these detached musketeers in your flank. I'm going to bring them back towards my infantry force. Now let's start to organize the rest of the cavalry. This, these units here are obviously going to help to mop up the detached musketeers hiding in the woods. But the rest of our cavalry can begin to maneuver. Now my plan is basically for, if we have these infantry hold this area here, then the cavalry can hold the right flank. It's logical enough, it should work. Now the, ca the cannons can be difficult to use in this scenario because there's, there's obviously infantry moving up to block their way. So I think for now we're just going to keep them on the woods and we're going to try and set them up in a location that allows them to fire. I did bring light guns in my first attempt but I don't think this is the best battlefield for um, light artillery. We want the veterans up front, we want the, ca the less competent cavaliers in the back. So next turn. And we are going to take some fire. Note how those guns are in them are guns are in place. They're in those light fortifications. That's another trap. If you just charge those guns thinking they're going to scatter and you don't notice the emplacements, then you're going to take a hammering. As uh, your infantry will need to fight in melee to overcome them. So you need to get back in behind the guns and take them out that way. We're very lucky we didn't take some early disruptions there. Okay, for for the push the infantry up to here. Uh, can, okay, the cavalry can't get up to there. Move to here. Shoot them. And remember, right, and we're just going to move on now. Take some pot shots at the guns while they march by. And we're not going to charge in yet. But next turn, as we get to set up some flank attacks, we'll make our move. 
So for now, again, the fire at the last musketeers that are exposed. I don't actually want to disrupt that unit because I want to attack them in melee. I don't know why we're doing so little for this group. Keep the guns moving up. I hope it's to flank with this unit here, so we'll have to swerve to the right for a moment, but that's fine. Just keep your infantry in a formation that allows them to move from right to left, depending on the situation. And line formation is fine for that. So we can move across, like, across to there. And don't forget anyone, because you really can't afford the loss of resources. The Thatcher Musketeers won't be any use on their own, so I'll bring them in line with the infantry and move the veterans further over to the right. You just have to hope that the medium guns don't disrupt you. Now I could cheese this a little bit and retreat right to the back of the map. I want to win the scenario in a way that somewhat resembles the actual scenario objectives. Because they are obviously expecting you to try and take the ridge here. Which was the tactic used during the actual battle I believe. Okay, so as planned, move these units away. Didn't expect them. At least that means that I know that I've got no one who's going to try and stop this from happening. And we'll creep the cavalry up around them. leave them like that before because it says we can turn. I don't want to risk a priority charge situation. So unfortunately that means we're going to have to wait here and take another round of fire from these guys. Keep going. I have to do something with the cannons. Uh... We know they're going that way, so let's just move them in that direction. Could have thought that through a little bit better, didn't I? So I'm thinking actually placing the guns along here might... Hmm. Problem is then the forest is in the way. Right, as I said, the guns are difficult to use in this scenario. Keep bringing them up. And next turn. going to have to contest them on the right here. Oh, wow, they responded quickly. So that was the unit that was firing at us from the forest before. And they're already um, here. So the enemy do react very quickly to what you're doing. If you try and move in to make a flank attack, they will move that unit to block it. Please don't pull back. Um, if you try to march past them without taking up the defences first, they will attack you there and cause you casualties. 
So it's a question of taking the action that's going to cost you the least in terms of lost uh, manpower. And keep all of your forces intact. So now with that situation developing. Hmm. And move this unit to here and then shoot for short range. Right, now eventually we're hoping to get in amongst the guns. And keep this cavalry unit here where it can't be seen. Actually keep them facing that direction. They can move and then turn and attach musketeers. The infantry won't generally enter the forest, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, hmm. So obviously that these units are getting dangerously close to our position, but I'm going to have to keep going. What I am going to do is move this veteran unit over to where it can actually make a difference to the battle. Um, okay, turn this way. And turn this way. See, I'm trying to bring these veteran units together so they can focus against these pike and shot units here. Feeling my lack of veteran horse here, because the the parliamentarian cavalry is now no joke. Next turn. We've managed to fragment that unit, so it's a matter of time for those detached musketeers now. Let's see how the enemy responds to the situation. They're going to engage us with these two units of pike and shot, and they've got more infantry coming up the hill. Then finally, they've got these veteran pike and shot units to try and bring us down completely. I thought they'd do that, so they're going to try and win against this unit here. We need to try and break that unit and then hit them on the flank. And of course, their guns are perfectly sighted on the hill at the back. Routed from there. Excellent, that's a disruption. Okay, good. We're overcoming them at a fairly optimal pace. Now we can indeed drop the cohesion here, hit them in the flank, we fragment them, no, not quite unfortunately. Let's, uh, we, how quickly are we running this? Not as quickly as I would have liked. Hit them again, make sure we break them, we break them fast. I need to break in against those guns. Okay, and just keep the cavalry back for the minute. Now I can see the enemy approaching. Let's see. Now that we've reached this position, I'd really rather they didn't get the cover of the hedgerows. I should move that unit a bit differently now. That, but then again, that's only a road. Do I have any cavalry to borrow yet? Start to move these subtly towards this area of the battlefield. Move over to here. Fire here. Move up here. Yeah, so they gave them a pretty good rollicking for the first turn. So I want to focus on breaking these units over here first. Good, we've got a disruption there. Now, here we've only got um, we've only got detached musketeers. Uh, we really don't want to start dropping back. Once we get into combat with the enemy, we kind of want to stick to that. Hmm. Trying to go for a flank attack on my cavalry with all of this facing us as a death sentence. Engage here, see if we can get a lucky disruption. I don't want our 
cavalry to start moving up. Yes, I know you're very, very annoying, and you're you, you're good at it too. You know exactly what you're doing. So I really do need someone to hold this outcropping. Um, what to do is that puts. Let's see. Right, here it puts this unit into a bit of a sticky situation, since they're going to have to cover this outcropping here. But the idea is we'll try and bring down this unit quickly. You know what, there are probably worse places to set up the cannon. Uh, next. Hmm. Next turn. God help us. Okay, they fragmented. They decide to shoot them. After they decide to focus on the guns. unit for us. It makes a lot of sense. However, it doesn't mean that this army is going to be focused on a very, in a very small area. So I have to beat the infantry. If I beat the infantry, I can see up the cavalry. That's how it usually goes. Interesting choice. Okay, so that does protect the flanks. Well, the, the AI is very good at moving its units in such a way that it denies you flank opportunities. Yeah, they went straight for that unit on my not exposed. I can shot. We're breaking through here. We've also routed. Well, luckily they've stopped moving forward. Now they can turn and, uh, well, engage in melee here. Managed to lose the impact. This unit can turn and I think they'll be able to shoot, it. they'll be able to target the light fortifications next time. But they are a very obvious target. Um, Or just because something's obvious doesn't mean it's correct. But usually it obvious means it's not correct. Evade. Good. Okay, that makes the position stronger. And uh Well, if you guys can take it of course we disrupt an impact. Try again. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, I suppose. They were on the flank end. So by attacking here, the enemy have managed to undermine my entire defense. Move them to here. Uh, we're playing very much playing for time on this flank. <sighs> what a mess! How did I let this happen? At least draw back so you're not constantly taking stationary fire. 
and then the age of their guns as well. Trying to avoid moving to that square, but we need to, to engage that unit and I've got my guns. Of our troops will rally a lot. So just as the enemy reach the hell and they're exposed to flank attacks, then the enemy cavalry comes out. And this is where I'm going to pay for all these disruptions that happened before. I didn't think I'd have to be taught to not deploy. How I didn't, didn't think I'd have to be taught how to deploy in a proper line again, but apparently I do. So yeah, they need to move all the way around to there to finally take out that gun that gun emplacement. Right, this unit is in trouble. Um, hit them. Hopefully, they shouldn't last too much longer. Let's see if we can get a disruption on that unit. And they're going to break anyway by the looks of things. Charge. Good, we broke them. Our ships are likely to pursue off the field now. Oh, they didn't. That's a nice surprise. Let's see. Well done blocking your own cavalry, Napoleon. We have to do something with the cavalry to influence the battle. But generally, when you hear the Commander used, well, we, I did it because I had to do something. That commander is an idiot, you shouldn't listen to him. break anyway, so I don't know why I did that.
Get a position on the hill. Coming back to flank that unit would have been a smart decision to make. Uh, hmm. Move here. Shoot here. Charge here. Hit. Back this. Okay. Next turn. I do not have a good feeling about this. Forgot to remove the guns. Now our own guns are disrupted. One artillery unit. Going down hell, so we should have the advantage in this. Since I so wisely moved my veteran cavaliers to the front, um, to the back, to fight these uh, command the shot, it's going to be now much more difficult. That one unit of guns must have been responsible for destroying about three of my units by now. about to auto break anyway. I mean we're disrupted so what are we waiting for? Why are it oh because they're protected by the road. These hedgerows on the road protect uh, from um what am I trying to say here? Charge into melee, hope they rally up. No, because then the cavalry will get us. Drop back. Amazingly, that was probably the right call to make, to be honest. Because that situation was going badly for us. Can't quite get the flank and attack this turn. Move the cavalry out in general. And move in here and start hitting them with volleys. Right, now let's see what else. Uh, hopefully we'll flank them there. Now we'll, let's take a look at the cavalry situation. This should be favourable to us. Move past it because we're going to need you over here. Open here, try and cause some disruptions. Good. Okay, now that's actually hopeful. So the first for the first time in this battle, 
I feel like things are starting to turn our way because those disruptions were critical. Now they are going to be coming in that direction. Wait for reinforcements, don't do anything drastic yet. Let's move to about here, we're shielded by this unit of cavalry, so we shouldn't be flanked. These guys, these guys are not going to be able to hold on, they're going to auto-break. Um, they already look pretty shaken up, I didn't hit them with the artillery, no, nothing. Okay, next turn. Let's start bringing these guys to the fight. We need every man on board now. Something snapped in the Royalist Army, in the, in the uh, Parliamentarian Army. Musketeers broke. And this unit's also broken. Excellent. Okay. That is very helpful. Ho oh, ho! That is much more helpful. They bounced. Veteran Parliamentarian Horse against Veteran Cavaliers. That should go in our, that should go in our favour. The veteran parliamentarian horse are good call to troops. And I think they actually have some shock value. to break below average troops remember Well, there's that option. Try and break this unit here. Why not? Good. That's a fragmentation. Okay. That gives us, again, a bit more hope. Now, let's see. I'll say for the moment, just shoot at them from here. We should be able to turn this unit around. That way it's relevant to the battle. Um... We just need to try and avoid these uh, musketeers, so yeah, move around here. This whole area is completely foobar. Hoping they'll be able to turn and fire. Good. Unfortunately, they won't be able to fire, but they might be able to do something over here. Um, I'd rather charge into melee than sit there and get shot to death. Shoot at them. Oh, 
because I can tr let's see. Well, I can try and move down and beat this parliamentarian horse while my uh, cavaliers fight with the enemy. Yeah, let's do that. So they've got all this coming as well. Turn here. Hopefully we can troop through. And I'm actually going to have my cavaliers take shelter in the forest. We're going to try and beat these veteran parliamentarian horse by shooting at them. So why did I move my troops out there? I still need a, I still have a lot to learn. Regular parliamentarian horse. Interesting. That could work. That could break their entire right wing. And unfortunately, I stood for that turn despite the 73% chance. Absolutely missed the chance that they're going to get flanked by that unit if they're not careful. Up to 30%. If we get 10 more percent, we could win. Lucky that didn't cause a disruption. It did fragment there. Curious. That unit must have somehow managed to turn to charge. Now that's not necessarily a good thing. Could they've rallied up. Wow, I was wrong. I was completely wrong about the enemy's infantry being an easy thing to beat. <coughs> they've broken. And they've turned good. Okay, so they're not going to be able to just... Uh, Beat up on us. Move to here and shoot. Charge. Good. Okay, at least we've broken the that enemy flank down pretty thoroughly. Um, we could actually win this now. Against all odds, we might actually win. We got this vet we are not going to beat those veteran parliamentarian horse. Which actually move this unit to here, see if they because if they pursue my detached musketeers, they might catch themselves with my veteran cavaliers. Uh, this unit needs to rotate away and come back to the battlefield. And this unit okay, moves into here, I guess. Damn them from fragmenting. Uh, they should hold on a little longer. I have no choice. Charge. Good. Fragmented. A might frighten veteran parliamentarian horse. Uh, oh, I really don't want to have to do that. What I really don't want to have to do is move these forces away to mask the veterans who are about to get broken. They've got troops coming over here. If we can manage to break those people, break those pike and shot as we come. Uh, 
How are the, the odds are now looking more even. Uh, I'm going to try and save my veterans. Okay, next turn. This is going to be a close one. 39%. Gonna to the right. The cannons in the absence of other prey are going after my uh... one more unit, one more unit, and we win. Not that horrible, unless it's going to happen. It's a shame we didn't do better than that. Wait. Oh, they've been complete idiots. The enemy turned their back when that route was about to happen. Oh. Right there. Well, they might not answer break if we can just avoid any more losses like that. Wow. They were really foolish to let that happen. Okay. See, once that unit goes, this unit will go. Which means my decision here made absolutely no difference. And that's going to make my... Well, this is going to make my route percentage leap up. Veterans against regular forces. Disruptor, but this unit's in such a state now that they can't fight back. Yeah, and there we go. That would have just that's just stolen uh, a chance of an early victory away from us. However, it's still going in our favour, we just need to keep going with this. We might get more because of the hedgerows. Good, that's units of our cavalry returning. Excellent. Okay. Unfortunate. But this is where all this is where things are really going to go to hell now. Take a pot shot. If we can get a fragmentation, yes. Keep hitting them. I need this to work. Yes. Go, go, go. Break them all. Well, I only managed to disrupt them, but that gives us a bit more hope. They should break on their own. I don't want to waste any resources that I don't have to. Let's see. These vet these units are overmatched because they're not. Mm. Okay, the danger there is pretty obvious. See, the enemy now control the hell. Which means they'll just be able to shoot at any unit I send up there. Okay, move to here, hope the enemy move here, and I'm banking on this unit coming to save the day over on this flank. And that's all she wrote at the moment. Yeah, they all piled into the flank. Oh no, that's an auto break because of the below average quality. They're at 52%. But this is where in Captain General Battle's attrition starts to kick in. Because we've got a much smaller force and they've just they were just taken such a kicking by this point. They could have just clung on a moment longer. 
we would have won the battle if that unit had broken. But they're veterans, so it's to be expected. That's them both disrupted. Oh! Where did that come from? Did they... How did they do that? Never mind, I'm not complaining. Even with a 2 on 1 advantage, that's a very dubious fight. Because... No one broke. So almost all of my infantry are off the field now. The odds are still good here. If we, I mean, that's a 65% chance. We should get that. Last, if we can get that unit to break, they are a good target. The guns are going to get overrun if this continues much longer, and that's going to be a ton of route percentage for the enemy. Guns count for a surprising amount of your army. They're disrupted. Watch that space. Mm, I'm hoping I've run the impact there. Okay, come into here, but I are turning these troops around, but I think they're just going to be too late. Uh, okay, that's everything. Pray this gets us to 65%. That gets us to 60%. Cling on. And that unit went. And that unit disrupted. That double disrupt is very nice. Of course, it's nowhere near the troops that I actually need. Yep, needs to be uh, disrupted. These cavaliers in the middle of the field really aren't relevant to anything anymore. My center's already collapsed. That was an auto break. No wonder they were doing so badly. Remember, you can always blow four uh, 64% chances in a row. That is always an option. There's actually a running gag in my Dungeons and Dragons group that I that dice absolutely hate me. <laughs> oh, I love this game. What were the chances of that fragmentation happening at that exact moment? Right, uh, we would be idiots not to go after that unit then, wouldn't we? They're gonna stand aground. So all that's really done is distract me from the unit that we might have destroyed.
What about that unit? Okay, that's another possibility opening up. Hmm. We've got a few options open to us. I could try and go after the veteran parliamentarian. Yeah, I see. I, I see what to do. If the dice would just give me something. <laughs> but I should. I should have gone for the parliamentarian horse. That was a much more likely gamble. Said I took an. Un I'm going to go into this. What that was right there is an unforced error. I would have been fine circumnavigating this veteran parliamentarian force and going after these parliamentarian horse here that were disrupted. Instead, I decided, eh, it's a low chance of me losing that engagement. I'll charge in anyway, and then I'll just get the guaranteed flank attack. And I lost it. See if you're ever in a position where you are winning, but you get the a a a chance to take a small risk for a little bit of extra gain. Never go for it. Take the guaranteed victory every time. Because if you lose that 1% chance, it is your fault. It's an unforced error. I know they've already dropped. That was more out of spite than anything else. Next turn. That could be it. That could be it. This unit can creep away. That would be grand. Shoot them. Taking them as a target of opportunity. Try and take them out. Good. Okay. That should be it. That should be victory. Uh, and ride towards them. If we can get the veteran parliament horse unit before it rallies, that would help. Even if this battle, if this nightmare goes on any further. I'm just realizing I didn't see that flank attack coming. Who has the better rods? Marginally better. Okay, let's just, let's just see how. They can move two squares, can't they? Okay, um, thinking, thinking. Yes! Okay, uh, that could work. Next turn, and uh, sorry, I know there's a lot of that could work, but, uh, well, that's because it might work, it might not. It might end horribly. We're up to 62%. Nothing rallies, we win. I just realized I've left them to get shot all battle.
Victory. Very nearly wasn't, but it's a victory nonetheless. And I'm not satisfied. So let's talk about. I was a bit graver today, um, and I think I've just been reflecting on the fact that I don't feel like I'm as good at these games as I used to be. And I keep making mistakes and I keep losing battles, particularly on the first attempt. I, if I just took a little bit more time to think them through and make the correct decisions, I would win more frequently. So I decided to just go into this with a more somber attitude, a more calm attitude, and focus on winning over just commentating the game. So that's why my commentary was a little bit more grip, more serious today. I've been Napoleon Complex. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell. And here's the victory screen. Well, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the content, and I uh, would like to see more of the channel. Farewell.